for squiggle time. Up the ladder we go, guys. Oh, oh, you can make it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look how high up you are. Oh, you're all the way up there. Oh, my. Okay. We're going to squiggle now. All right. I got three squiggles for us today. The first one is for my friend Bella. And just like last time, instead of making you watch me trace it, I got it already traced. Ha <laughs> ha, Mr. DeCrody's getting together. I mean, Mr. D. You can call me Mr. DeCrody, too, if you want. Okay. Bella. And you see here, I wrote, Bella! Exclamation point, because I'd say, if I saw her, I would say, Bella! And I'd give her a big smile. Okay. What do we have here? Hmm. Let's see. I see a few things I can do. But probably the coolest thing I can do is when I grew up, I grew up in the 80s. You know what everybody had? All the girls had crazy long hair. You're not seeing it yet, are you? Ready? Let's see. Let's see. Usually, also in the 80s, they wore earrings that were like big, bangly, wild things, you know, like stars and a moon. And let's see. Well, since we put an earring over there, we got to do the same thing over here. Let's see. A star. And let's see. The moon down there. And let's see. What else? What other awesome 80s thing could she have? She could have... Uh, check this out. You may have seen these before. We used to call them shutter shades, I think. It was like this. Mm, let's see, we could rub on the nose. And she's like. Talking out of the side of her mouth because she's so cool. And let's see, make her chin go up like that, do her other ear like that, and then she's got whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. look at all this hair. I'm going to the Bon Jovi concert, Dee. And let's see, uh, and tank top, or not the tank top, like a muscle shirt, and she's like, one thumb up, one thumb up, one pinky down, and she's like, gnarly bruh. And she probably have like a million bracelets on. Oh man, this is so sloppy. And she probably have a rainbow on her shirt and another star. Or it would say something in really big letters. That was another thing they did back in the 80s a lot. Oh, and oh, wait a second. This should have a collar. I guess we'll just have her collar down. And she's saying, gnarly. That was like a thing that we said back in the 80s sometimes. There we go. So that's Bella's. Bella, I hope you like your squiggle drawing. Now, Bella, we need to move on to the next one. Okay, so next after Bella, 
we have our friend Suzanne. And Suzanne sent us this. And just to make sure that we can all see it, what I did is traced it onto this. <sighs> I had to blank out my mind so I wasn't cheating. I, I don't want to think about it too much before doing it. I think, let's see, that sort of looks like the thing that hangs down the back of your throat, doesn't it? Like a waddle? Or what are they? <laughs> it's not called a waddle. Ah, I don't even know what it's called, but like, if that was a big open mouth, that would be the thing that hanging down the back. Well, let's see, what else could we do? Lips wiggling. Burp. Oh my goodness, that is the craziest squiggle that we've done so far, guys. And let's see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now this one. Oh my word, Nicholas. Nicholas, Nicholas. I would still say Nicholas if I saw you, and I'd still smile. But this squiggle, oh my word, what in the world do I do with this? See, the longer and the more wrapped up inside itself you make something, that's why I say we don't close them up, because that makes it tough to really do anything with. Let's see here. I see something that could be teeth there. I see... Mm, Let's see. Oh, Nicholas, Nicholas. Um, hmm. I guess what I could do is I could take that and put it like that. And I can make some teeth along here.
Let's see here. That almost looks like an alligator, doesn't it, guys? What do you think? I was gonna—I was thinking about making a dragon, but I think we'll just make him an alligator. And he's poking his head out of the water. That's what the ripples are. Are you seeing it? I hope you're seeing it, because I'm seeing it. Huh. I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, Nicholas, you scared me. Okay, so we'll make some ripples in the water. And let's see here. He's splashing. That's what these lines are. I guess he must be swimming. And then we, let's see, we'll make some more water going out that way. And then we'll put a sign over on the shore. Make some grass back there. And this says, no swimming. Why is there no swimming in this swamp? Well, let's see. I got one word for you, and that is alligator. Oh my. So, Nicholas, you challenged me, and I think I did okay. You guys can tell me if I didn't, or if you have a different idea of what I could have done. But I think that's not a bad deal for something that really scared me for a second there. All right. Um, let's see. So that's it. That is the squiggle game for today. I want you guys to send me more squiggles. And I will, uh, of course, say who sent it. And thank you on video. And we'll get it on YouTube. And just keep having fun, guys. Keep creating. Um, look at things differently. Oh, man, I almost forgot. Oh, what's your squiggle going to be? Oh, let's see. I'm going to take a picture of this. And hopefully I have to figure out the best way to get it to you. I'm going to put it on my Facebook, my Green Street Design Studios Facebook. So if your mom or dad can go on there and get it for you, today's squiggle is that. Okay. I will post it, and hopefully you can print it out. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to not have that line there. But this is your squiggle. I want to see what you do with it. And I've been getting lots of responses from kids who are doing squiggles, and I'd really like to share some of them, but I'm not sure best way to do that. But please, please send me squiggles and we can have fun. All right. Bye for now.